You're actually not missing out too much on Ganzakimbo, which I finally saw after so much uh, social media controversy has been surrounding what the director, Jason Lee Howden, I believe that's his name, he also done Deathgasm, which was an extremely violent horror comedy from New Zealand. This is set in the US, but you know, it was financed by the NZ Film Commission, the same people that helped produce some of Taika Waititi's early films. The controversy, in case you haven't known, on Twitter was the director blaming political correctness and people being woke over the use of the uh, racial slur, the use of N and N's with R. I won't repeat it out loud because I don't want to be demonetized. Uh, he started blaming two film critics that were female and of uh, African descent. To the point, one of them, I believe was trying to attempt suicide and you got so angry about it and he was saying why worry so much about it it's not so much of a bloody problem and that caused a bit of a stir to put people were boycotting it and saying how insensitive he was and that even the distributor at least in North America Saban Films I think Altitude as well said we find his comments upsetting and disturbing but we'll still release the film regardless because the controversy was too late too soon in many ways, it almost reeks of the controversy that was surrounding Cold Pursuit, which was the Liam Neeson film where many people wanted to say, okay, I'm not, I don't want to see this, I don't want anything to do with Neeson because of what he said about, you know, how he had ventral thoughts about killing a black man by getting a crowbar and killing him after alleged allegations that he raped this woman that he knew back in Northern Ireland. That caused a shitstorm. And everyone was panicking about it. The film itself was pretty good, but his comments were... Oh, uh, he, he should have just kept his mouth shut. <clears throat> but then again, to some extent, people wouldn't have seen the film if it wasn't for him saying what he did say. If it wasn't for the controversy surrounding the Joker being this film about you know, a violent incel who goes on a bloody rampage, I don't think many people would have saw it. So sometimes controversy helps the film, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not so sure about this one, because not too many people are going to see it, because not too many people have even heard of it. For any of those who have heard it, well, it's, oh, it's an okay film. I mean, you know, it's one thing to have you know, cool action sequences, but the whole story surrounding it about, you know, people watching murder on the TV screen, it sort of prides upon that, it's, has a very sort of strong video game aesthetic, Re you know, recognises... Similar films like Hardcore Henry, which was a very good movie, one of my favourites of 2016, and Crank. Those are two films that I can think of that have a long common with Ganza Kimbo. However, Ganza Kimbo is not as good as Hardcore Henry, or the sequel to Crank, otherwise known as High Voltage, or even Deadpool, or Harley Quinn Birds of Prey, which have a similar sort of dark comedy, ultra-violent action aesthetic to it. Time will remain to be seen on it, but I don't think it won me over quite the same way as those films I've just mentioned. And that's a shame, but compounded with the controversy surrounding the racism behind Lee, Jason Lee Howden's comments, and his late apology, which doesn't mean really fuck all, uh, the movie renders as mute, more or less, and... Uh, you're probably just better off going to see The Birds of Prey a second time, or just watch your old copies of Hardcore Henry, or Crank, High Voltage, or Deadpool, or your DVD or Blu-ray player instead. That's the most I can say about it. Other than that, um, feel free to keep me tuned on for another controversial film that's going to be coming out called The Hunt, which I'm really excited about. I hope this movie is as cutthroat even more so than any other film I've just seen over recent months. If it's more controversial than The Joker, that has to be seen. It's a lot more controversial than Cold Pursuit. But we'll see, at least in the North American sense. This is Skinny Ebo signing off. Until next time, keep on watching Harry Potter and the Firearms of Howden's Racism.